Hi, I'm going to quickly show you how to get started using the Land One Takeoff. Once you've gone to landonetakeoff.com, simply click Login to log in using your appropriate credentials. Once you've correctly logged in, you will be brought to your project view page. Here you will find a list of your recently worked on projects. To create a new project, simply click here. I will bring up this modal in which you can input the project name, its bid date, and also any other pertinent details which you find relevant for this project. Once you're happy, simply click save. Now that you've created your new project, you'll want to begin by labeling the first section in which you'll be working. To do this, just click on the bar and type in any name that you want it to be labeled as. Now that it's labeled, you can choose the files and plans to be associated with that section. Simply click Choose Files, highlight the plan that you want to upload, and click Open. While the plan is uploading and processing, it's a good idea to go ahead and begin adding materials for you to perform your takeoff. This can usually be found from the plant legend or any other keys from the plan. To do this, click Add Materials. Now you can begin customizing the materials for your takeoff, such as the name, the annotation type, such as object counts, length, area, or volume, and also style, size, and colors for the annotation to show up on the marked up plans. To begin, just start typing the name in the form. If you've used the material before in a previous bid, the software will remember this and it will give you a suggestion to complete the form. When you're happy with all your customizations for that material, simply click Save and that material will be added to your list. When you finish adding all your materials from your plant legend, you're ready to move on to your markup view and begin placing annotations and making measurements. If you don't know all the materials that you need to add, don't worry because this step of adding materials can also be completed in the markup view. A few closing thoughts. In order to edit a plan name, simply click Edit. This will allow you to change the plan name and the page name to anything you want. This software also supports multi-page PDFs. When you upload those PDFs, each page will be automatically separated for you here in the plan files location. And lastly, projects can be organized by sections. If you want to add a new section such as covering things like the irrigation or hardscapes, simply click Add a new section and you can do that. This is also helpful when covering alternates for bids. This concludes our getting started video. In our next video, we'll go over the market view and how to use the annotation tools. Thanks for watching. For more information or to get started using our software, visit us at landonetakeoff.com.